Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to discuss how much it costs to farm. And it's kind of interesting because Darren and I have the numbers going back to 2004. We talked about this in 2004 as well. And just what a dramatic change there has been in only six years. And literally to raise corn, it costs us now about double what it did only six years ago. Okay, this isn't a whining segment here. I know Brian's trying to negotiate his cash rent down a little bit. Uh, no, but, seriously but there, though, if you're a non-farmer, really yeah, if you're a non-farmer, you need to understand what it costs on all these acres across the country. Because for corn acres, there are probably going to be 90 million acres of corn produced, and this is kind of what we're looking at for costs on average across the country. Sure, in some cases the costs are going to be way higher, in some cases they're going to be way lower, but this will just give you kind of an average figure. Well, this varies quite a bit, you know, depending on how that farmer set up. Maybe he owns his land, or maybe he rents sure. his land, or maybe he owns his equipment, or maybe he's making payments on it. There are going to be some variables here. Okay, so what we did is basically just figured a 2,000 acre corn farmer in 2004 versus in 2010. And again, these were our numbers that we talked about on Ag PhD here in 2004, and we'll compare them to today's numbers. So we started with rent. It was $80 back then. Now I'm figuring 130 almost double. Uh, so owning farm ground was a good investment if you bought it back in 2004. Fertilizer's the big one. Here is where we see a $105 difference because today... Well, it's triple. Well, that's, yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So back in 2004, it was $45 is what we figured for corn fertilizer, and we figured a 125 bushel average. Well, today we're figuring 175 bushel average corn, so the yield's gone way up. But our need for plant food, because remember, fertilizer is just plant food. The crop has to eat more, obviously, if it's going to produce more. And the other thing is fertilizer prices have skyrocketed. So now we're figuring $150. Okay, well, that went way up. There's got to be some things that stayed the same or went down crop protection or ag chemicals. Those things have basically stayed the same. Herbicides, insecticides, fungicides. Even, yeah. though, even though we're using more things now. We're protecting against bugs that we didn't have before or maybe some diseases like this year we had some gosses wilt. We had some sun well, you death can't syndrome spray, in the Yeah, but you can't spray for gosses wilt and for yeah, sun I, death I, it's I questionable. That. But anyway, seed costs, uh, $40 back in 2004, 100 bucks an acre now in 2010. It's Those seed costs have really gone up. Equipment, we figured $50 back then. We'll figure 75 today. And in both cases, I will tell you that's low for a lot of farms. I guess just so you have kind of an idea, a tractor, a planter, a combine, a sprayer, to buy a semi, uh, all those things cost significantly more in 2010 compared to 2004. The one good thing though is interest rates are down just a little bit. I'd figure 5% today, whereas we figured 6% back in 2004. Well, then you've got other things. You've got insurance and those rates have gone up as the crop value's gone up. Gas, oil, and tires, that stuff's all gone up as you well know whether you farm or don't farm. That Those prices are much higher. And just buildings and bins and infrastructure takes yeah, on and the this farm. Is probably those costs a, have gotten higher. Yeah, too. and this is probably a low figure. Um, it, it just depends on what the farmer has. But anyway, in total, according to my calculations, I figured $280 back in 2004, $545 in 2010. If you look at it on a per bushel basis, it was $224 in 2004. $3.11 cost of production. And this isn't even figuring drying cost. Last year on our farm, our drying cost was close to 50 cents a bushel. So <laughs> you've got to have a tremendous price for the crop. And prior to just the last three years, we'd almost never seen $3 or $3.50 corn before. We've got to have that now just to break even. Well, here's the way I look at it. As farmers, we're putting all this money out before we even have a crop. We've not harvested a thing but we've got to invest this huge amount of money now to raise a crop. So it is a lot of risk that farmers are taking. Well, on a 2,000 acre farm, this is over a million dollars, over a million dollars to put that corn crop in. So we talk about the uh, cash flow demands and, <laughs> and input uh, expenses and those kind of things. You have to have a good relationship with your banker, no matter who you are, in order to farm. But you are taking an awful lot of risk with the cost of farming going up substantially from 2004 to 2010. Well, once again, farming is pretty risky, but one way you can minimize that risk is by having great weed control. We'll tell you how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show. <laughs>